Oh, I'll get it. You're, um, you're holding me hostage. <laughs> that's, 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 that's clever. That's, yeah, that's really, really clever. Well, it's supposed to be intimidating, is it? Hey? Well, I'll take that as a yes, then. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm traumatised. I'm scared. You happy now? Your missus ain't called yet, has she? Well, she won't, will she? Because she can't. Oh. Well, we'll see about that, won't we, eh? What's up? Shifting about there. A bit uncomfortable. Got a problem, have we? I think he needs a jimmy, Dad. Does he? Yeah. I reckon he must be busting. Is that right? Would Sir like to use the gentleman's convenience? Yeah, I would, actually. Yeah, well, you can't. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to tell you about pregnant women. See, the thing about your pregnant woman, right, especially your heavily pregnant woman, like our dawn, is that the baby takes up most of the room inside the body and it sort of presses down on the bladder. I mean, that's the thing about your heavily pregnant woman, like our dawn, is that they have to wee a lot. In fact, they have to wee a hell of a lot. Because the thing I want you to know is, right, when you had our dawn in prison in that bedroom, was she able to answer the call of nature when she wanted to. Of course she was. Liar. How could she? You had a cuff to the bed. So apart from lying to her, betraying her, abducting her, imprisoning her, putting her and her baby's life in danger, you took away a basic human right to go to Lou when she really, really needed to. So no, you can't have a Jimmy Riddle. You can sit there and you can suffer. You suffer until you embarrass yourself. Give us all a big laugh. But the whole situation. Shut up. Was, but the whole situation was out of control. It wasn't my fault. Oh, what? Whose fault was it then, eh? Yeah, come on, big man. Who's the brains behind it? The missus. But well, the thing snowballed. They got out of control. It, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, you said. I just went along with it. You call yourself a man. You're pathetic. Look, no, no one's a villain here, right? Every one of us is a victim. Oh, bless. Yeah, I'll get him bleating. You're lucky we haven't kicked seven shades out of you. I put my wife in a psychiatric unit. She's ill. Now, does that make me the villain? No, I don't think so. See, the thing is, right, I think you're telling porkies about that and all. I mean, you'd say that, wouldn't you, just to get you and your missus off the hook? The imbalance of the mind disturbed, diminished responsibility and all that. I don't believe a word of it. you think I'd lie to you about having my wife sectioned? Yeah, I do. Cos you and your wife have got all the personal morals of a couple of bleeding hyenas. When your so-called wife rings to see how you're getting on. We're gonna find out for sure, aren't we? Hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs>